Good morning everybody, it's Laura, and I'm not sure which day you'll see this video, but you've probably already seen the video where I explained what happened to the video for this necklace here. I'm still upset. Um, we are going to, I forgot to get my chain. Okay, what happened to the chain? Should have been right here. Are you kidding me? I have everything out except for a length of chain. I swear these videos have been fighting me. I could have sworn I put the chain back in the bag. Um, here it is, upside down. <laughs> uh, we're going to do kind of a similar thing, um, but we're going to make it with the, do I use the green one or the blue one? Hmm. I'm playing. I think I want to use the... I'm going to use the blue one. Um, we're going to use one of these go-go donuts. They're smaller than the main donut, and it's kind of offset. Um, and I'm out of the round head pins, the eye pins. So I've got these three inch head pins um, and we're gonna use those. I have some of the fancy Jasper for or six millimeter rounds. And that one almost looks like it, they started faceting it. And then from the August box, I have these uh, faceted um, luster peach. They're beautiful to offset the deep greens. Um, and we're just going to make this similar to the other necklace, just that we're not going to use leather to create a bale because these big textured jump rings will actually go through the top of this. So we're going to start with, with that. I've got my tools here. Um, anything I need is out and I'm just going to start by struggling to find the opening in these because it's not easy the opening in these hide so you just kind of play until you find it like right there open it nice and wide we're just going to slip it right through there and close this up probably could use a smaller one but I don't know if a smaller one would have fit through that hole. You know what? I'm going to try it. If nothing more, I'll come back to the big one. This is like, I believe, a... I don't know. 10 millimeter jump ring. I don't know. They came from Walmart in a package, so... Okay, I think I see the opening. So I'm open up nice and big. So yes, this one will go through and give us room. So we're going to close this up. And listen for that click, click. Make sure you got it closed good. And then I'm going to, yes. Um, when this is hanging, let me get a hold of it. This, if I put it on a jump ring, will hang down here. I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, um, I'm going to hang it some other way, but we'll, we'll work that. I think what I need is another jump ring that's going to go like this for everything to hook into. And this is what I'll be hanging this from with another tiny little jump ring, which I have out. Um, I'm utilizing the 
textured ones because of the texture chain. as much as possible. Things are just going to be one of those days. I have so many items misplaced and I'll get there. And you know, it's, it's all about moving and finding everything all over again. And you know, y'all know how it goes. So, Let's see, I gotta figure out how to get this to hang correctly. We'll get it. Get this on there. And there is a front and back, whoops. There is a front and back to this, so make sure when you put this um, on that you, my fingers are not working today, guys. Make sure you put it on the right, right way. Let's see if this does what I think it's going to. In my head it works, but, you know, you got to see it, do it in person. Now, this is where it's going to be hanging from, so let's see. Get it turned around. Agree with me. Mm. Kind of straggles off to the side. I don't like that. Let's just go ahead and hang it from the... Trial and error sometimes, guys. We're just going to go ahead and put it on this one. And have it over with. It's just going to hang down like here. I just got to find the opening. Okay. Believe that's it. Yay. Close it back up. So when it's hanging, I don't know guys, I don't like it hanging that far low. We'll see. I don't know, I guess it kind of accents it, and you can see that that's a donut behind it. We'll see. We'll keep going, and let's get some dangles made. So we're just going to take, we're only going to make four, or, sorry, not dangles, connectors, connect, you know, and I want, I'm just going to make them random. Um, really no rhyme or reason. Kind of like that. Oops, I need one more. Let's put that light colored one there. So, like I said, I don't have any, um, 
eye pins left. So we're just going to take this three inch head pin. We're going to snip off that end. And I'm going to take and bend this about, I don't know how much that is. Whatever is comfortable for you. And I always go beyond the 90 degrees. That's just what's comfortable for me to make a loop to make it look right. And I go to the end and then I roll my loop up. And I take my flat pliers, turn it around, and then flatten this all out so I can see what I'm doing and bring my loop around where it's supposed to be. And then, um, of course, I want to make sure that's closed. And it's not closed all the way. So we're going to make sure that that loop is shut. We don't want to lose anything. And then I'm simply going to put on a fancy jasper, one of these faceted peach, and another jasper again just beyond the 90. I'm going to clip off all that extra and that not quite enough to make another one. I'm saving all those for a project that will be coming up when I have enough. And then I am going to roll this loop, straighten it, finish closing that loop up, and we're done. And I'll be doing that with all four of these. And I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm getting ready to make my last loop, um, my last connector, and I figured I'd show you one more time. I'm going to get a little bit of nub there on the end. I'm going to take that off. Didn't like the way that looked. Um, I'm going to, once again, bend just beyond the 90. It gives me a nice looking loop. Come out to the end, near the end of my pliers, and then I start rolling it back. And then I straighten my loop up, and then I can roll it any direction I need to roll it at that point. And then I pick up my beads. And I could have done this with a two inch if I wanted to, but I would have had such a tiny piece left over. I could not have utilized it for what my plans are coming up. Um, and it would have been a waste. I'd rather use a longer piece and had a piece left over that I could use. Again, cutting off my excess. Putting it in my little bowl taking that little tail and coming out to the edge. Whoops, sometimes your pliers roll off and that is fine. And rolling, if it'll stay put, stay. Every one of these I did off camera was perfect. It's like, hi, you're filming. I'm going to be a pain in your neck and looks sloppy but isn't that how it always goes but you can always bend it back come over and finish your loop if it'll stay in my fingers and 
And if you need to, give it a little hug to close it. If it'll stay put. Always go slow and gentle. So I have those done. Now we're going to go ahead and um, use these little tiny baby ones to join these links together. This always makes it um, so they flow much easier instead of being all kind of stiff and funky. And we're just going to add these. Kind of have them in there a little strange. I had the wrong pliers in my hand. And then just close it up. Ooh, I have a little bit of vertigo today. I know I woke up with a weird headache. I kind of felt like, you ever swear to God somebody like shot you in the head? You know, you hear it, you feel it, but it didn't actually happen and that's what wakes you up. Now I kind of have a little bit of vertigo and having a little bit of problems seeing today. So um, any jewelry I make, I'm definitely going to go back over before I package it and make sure I have all my connections shut. Um, double check everything I've done. It just is what it is. I do have medication to take if it gets really bad, so... Because I just swear to God, I felt the camper move. And I know it's not going anywhere. I'm sitting in the garage. And it's not going to move. It just is what it is. It's me. I know it's me because it happened when I looked up. So, it'll be a no-drive day for me. Not that I plan on going anywhere. That's why I like being out in the country. I feel very at home. Very calm, very relaxed. And there's that. And then I'm going to grab another one. You know, I used to sit in my apartment and I guess people didn't realize I was home or something. And I kid you not, I would watch... And I, I always sat with my door locked. I'd come in and lock my door. And it was automatic. Shut it, lock it. And um, I would come in. It hangs perfectly. Um, and I would sit there and I kid you not. Because, you know, I, I don't have TV. My TV is YouTube. Whatever videos are on YouTube, I'll watch. You know, find something to watch. And that would be my my entertainment. Um, sit in my recliner, which faces the door. And I kid you not, I, I would sit there and watch my door knob, the lock on it, turn. And then watch my door knob turn and start to open and I'd be like you know yell well, I would yell profanities guys I'll admit it and I'm sure everybody else would too um because you don't know who's trying to come through your door so you know I really wanted two of these I'm gonna have to see if I have one more in my little arsenal here Yes, I do. I mean, he's been opened, but I think we can still use him. Here's, a not, here's one that has not been opened. I'd rather use one that's not been opened. Let's do that. Okay. You know, now I don't have to worry about that. So, we have this. And I want this one, because it's smaller, to be more up on the chest more. So, see where it hangs. Okay, let me get my chain. Oh gosh, I love this chain. 
I hope that I have enough left to make a bracelet and it looks like I will. So I'm making this kind of like a 16 inch maybe. And I'm going to count this because I did this with the um, other necklace and I should have cut it at an odd number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to double check that length. No, that's too long. One, two, one, two. I think right there would be good. Okay, so I'm going to cut off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I'm going to add one because I've got to split this in half and I'll lose one. So I'm going to cut this one here, get my big boys out. Never cut this with your good clippers because this is stainless steel and it will ruin it. They are, it is a very tough metal. I do have it in the jaw, don't I? Not really. Okay, now to cut. All right. I want an odd number because these do not have an opening. Let me use my flat pliers. Get this open. Get this out. Now I'm going to fold this in half, find my middle, this is the one I need to cut, I don't know if it cut it all the way through. It don't look it. Try it again. There we go. Take my flat pliers, open it up, get rid of that piece, and we have two halves that are the same length. Ta da! Get them out there. Of course they're twisted around each other, but we have two lengths. We're going to put, I don't know how that got on there. This clasp on the back, and this one does not need a fancy one. I just want the fancy one on the front. So we're going to grab our fancy little doodad find the opening which is usually pretty easy on the little ones but I think it's right there open it up to the bottom that's okay we're going to drop our chain Drop this on, close this baby back up. And I hope I was not off screen, probably was, and I'm sorry. Listen for that click, click. Oh, 
Run this over it. Runs good. Put the other side on. Vertigo's getting pretty bad here, guys. Definitely going to need to be taking some medicine today. I have not had vertigo in years. Drop my chain on. Ta da! Just like that. Close it up. Now we have the pendant on. Now let's put the back on. We can use these bigger ones for the back. I think the opening is right there. Just like that. Now the other side I can't use a big one because this puppy has to be able to slide through there. So I'm going to need a small jump ring. Get a hold of it. Oops, where's the opening? And of course I have the opening at the bottom. Get it open. I usually have the red pliers in my other hand. For some reason today I don't. Put this on. Come on, chain. Get the toggle on. Like I said, normally I have it the other way around. Let's do that now. Chain. Toggle. Now let's close this puppy up before I drop it again. Ta -ta -da. Puppy power. Oh my god, Shaggy and Scooby. And now let's go ahead and close this just like that. And there. There it is. I was like, I know it came forward earlier. There we have it. Yay. I love this piece. I love this piece just as much as I do the big one, guys. And I did this one because not everybody wants a big bulky one. Um, so there are two very similar pieces. This one's very much a big statement piece. Um, and some people would just rather have this. And um, I really do like them. I like them both. I'd wear either one, you know, just me. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. And if I can get it to hold still and not focus on anything else, it'll clear up. Bye, everybody.